black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. All right, you guys, so here's the scoop, the poopity scoop. Very fitting, in the words of Kanye, it's poopity, but also because I am in a public washroom, as you can see. If you look over here, it says, flush damn it, this is Canada. And there's a toilet, but that is neither here nor there. I, black hoodie, am very hungover. I don't have my microphone, I'm sorry. Maybe not the best audio quality, but it is what it is. We're just doing this on riff, on whim. I am hungover as fuck. Maybe partially still drunk, I don't know. Could be a thing, probably yes. But hungover as fuck, it's very nice out. I'm like, fuck it, got nothing to do. Let's go out and let's get some delicious food to cure said hangover. And on that note, you guys know, what do I love? I love burgers, probably my favorite food. Everything under one roof. But what's better than a burger? A smash burger, a smash patty, a classic, a diner style burger. And there is a place in Toronto that I've been dying to try called Rudy. And I, me, you, us, all of us, we're gonna go there and deal with that. See what it is. What is up with it? Is it good? Is it as delicious as, as it looks? I don't know. We're about to find out. So, because my battery is not that great, uh, I think I'm going to not really take too much scenic photography or videography. Uh, I think we're just gonna like warp there and be eating. All right, peace, love ya. We'll see you there. All right, you guys. I'm about to eat in a random undisclosed alleyway. There's a Portuguese lady up ahead carrying groceries. A lot of graffiti, random people, very nice day. Bottle collector dude, what's up? All right, so there's a guy collecting bottles over there. It's really noisy, I'm just like, fuck it. And then I'm like, let me just go on this roof. So there's like, the stairs, this graffiti, and this roof looks pretty empty and shit, so. Hopefully no one really like lives up there and like I don't get in trouble, but let's fucking do it. I feel so trespassy. Also call me Oscar the Grouch because I'm just eating burgers in back lanes and shit. Seems pretty legit to be honest. It's so there's no cameras. But it's definitely cool though. Fridge. It's probably from like a restaurant for a restaurant. Definitely for a restaurant. Table, this thing. Got some herbs in a glass, it looks like. Hopefully, nobody gets too mad at me for being up here, but whatever. It's private and secluded, so whatever. I'm fucking dying. It's so hot out, and I'm in a black hoodie. It's so retarded. It's not the greatest. Okay, let's do this. Alright, guys, so I've got the bag here. I'm getting to the bag. I really want to get to the bag. They're known for the cheeseburger, but they also had a chicken sandwich, so I figured, fuck it, let's just do both. I'm here, it's a, it's a trial. They have a very small menu. So I was like, let's at least try both. Maybe I won't crush both, but like, let's at least try, right? We got some dope graffiti behind us, sick backdrop. Very urban, very hip hop. First things first, I feel like the burger, is what we came for, so that's what I want to try immediately. Classic checkered paper wrap. Sorry, I'm getting like all up in your face, all up close to the cam, because it's like, I don't know if you can hear me that well or not. All right, as we're unwrapping, let's see what we got. I'm getting a lot of grease already, so that's like a good sign, because grease is fat and fat is flavor. Oh my fucking Lord. Wow. Just like I suspected from the Instagram, Looking so fire, so fire. The only thing that's pissing me off a little bit right now, you can see this, is this. I'm trying to pull it and the grease has, it's activated like that gluten in the bun and it's like gluing, it really puts the glue in gluten. It's gluing to the bun, like the paper. And it's just, it's almost like the bun is not really how it should be anymore because it's, 
and that's the bottom. I didn't even know that that was gonna be the bottom. All right. So look at this burger. Right there. The char, that like crispy on it is great. Leaf lettuce, oh it's dripping grease. Leaf lettuce, pickles, tomato. Pickles and tomato do look good. I wish the lettuce, to me, I love shredded. I like iceberg, like more in and out style, but whatever it is what it is. I'll bite. Let's do it. Mmm. Whole tomato pull. So it's a double cheeseburger, lettuce, tomato, pickle. I have the option for onion. I just don't need onion on a burger, to be honest. I like onions, but I don't need it. Mm. Oh my god. It's got what's called Rudy sauce on it. So I assume, you know, maybe like an in and out style ketchup mayo type. Big Mackey blend or whatever. Of my hungover mouth, this is so good. Right now, this is like nine out of ten shit, to be honest. Cheese, the cheese is so rich. The meat is delicious. Nothing wrong with that burger, to be honest. It's really, really, really good. There's a place in Toronto called Burgers Priest, and it like takes the crown for like the best burger in Toronto, like everybody says, diner style. I'm telling you right now, this place beats it immediately. Look at the crust. If I just say one thing, it would be I don't like how the bun has been, I don't know, maybe it would be different if I ate it right there, if I didn't get a wrap to go when I walked, but the bun has taken on so much of the wetness and the grease from the burger that I feel like it's like thinned out and become almost gluey, like very doughy, like almost like you know when pizza pops or pizza like is like not fully cooked and there's that little layer of like almost like elasticity, I guess you could say. It's kind of how this bun is. All right, I'm almost done that, but before we do finish that, let's get to the chicken sandwich. So this one comes in a, whatever the fuck you want to call this, a little boat or whatever. And off rip, what I can see, it looks almost like a ranch. And almost like a little bit of a hot sauce in there. Guys, I'm sweating, I'm dying. So the butt on this one held up better, right? It looks more puffy. Definitely a ranch. It has like a, uh, almost like chive, like a herbaceousness to it. And then of course there's definitely like a buffalo-ish, 
a hot sauce tweak on it. It's probably made out of chicken thigh. It's definitely made out of chicken thigh. I can already tell just because I can just tell. That's a Toronto thing too. It's like super trendy. I guess all the chicken, and there's a slaw, I should say, as well. I'm not really about the slaw on it, but whatever. I'd rather have like tomato and shit. I don't know why I didn't ask for lettuce and tomato. I thought it came with that, but it doesn't have it on it. So I would ask for lettuce tomato on this because lettuce and tomato on a chicken sandwich is just, for me, it's key. Um, so gonna be mildly disappointed already, I would say. Also, I just don't understand the whole like thigh movement with chicken sandwiches. Like, I mean, whatever, oh, it's more flavor, but it's also just like not as clean and pure. Like I just like a sort of like, I'm not thinly pounded, but a little pounded out like white breast. I like to pound out white breasts and like bread that shit and just I don't know it's just a cleaner sandwich but anyways first bite let's do it okay wow okay wow like wow really wow I went into this with a bias it's like a nice that is a nice thigh piece I believe but it's very like clean and not like dutty oh my god that like ranch sauce is amazing there's definitely a really beautiful flavoring in this breading for this chicken like it's really nice it's actually like really 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 surprising that slaw really actually works it actually might just be white I don't think it's fine now now that I really look at it I think it's just white meat so that's great shout out to the white meat community Okay, this is like, to be honest, in a weird way, I'm not missing the lettuce and tomato. And also, this is like almost trumping the burger. Which I did not think was gonna happen. Because I just love burgers, I love beef. Last little bite of the burger. Very, very nice. Maybe this sauce. I'm gonna run the burger through it. Just cause fuck it, why not? Mmm. Yeah. That's nice. Alright. What a dope hilarious excursion. I gotta do this more often, just like find <clears throat> eat bullshit on random rooftops. This is great. I'm at the point where I'm like, you know when you're hungover and like you, you have an appetite but start eating and it's like nah, not really. But I did crush a whole burger and I'm almost done this one so I guess it is two sandwiches but I'm like overheating. I'm kind of fearing for my life right now. All I want to do is kind of get back home and change and maybe sit in some air conditioning and upload this video for you guys. But before I do that, I do have to say one thing. I put up that wrap the other day and it's gotten just the greatest response. Like awesome reviews, people just 
basically nothing but kind words. So thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for supporting my like musical talents, I guess, or whatever. Because it is something I hold near and dear to my heart. It's one of those things in life where, I mean, I'm sure everybody has them, but if you don't have them, I'm sorry. I, that's really sucks for you, but just one of these things that's almost necessary for your happiness. Like it fulfills you in no way that anything else could. Like it's just a, it's like a um, incessant need to do a thing that feels right to you, that feels good to you, that uplifts and soothes and heals and stimulates and it just that's what it is for me like I just my, that, it's, a, it's my outlet it's it's happiness it's creativity it's it's everything in one package it's just like something that I like kind of need to do for myself regardless of anything be it success or not I just love to express myself in that form and it's it's just like that thing I need to do some people need to do yoga or I don't know, so like whatever you need to do, but that's what I need to do. And for you guys to be supportive of that is really um, rewarding and I'm very thankful for it. So thank you guys so much for tuning into that and more to come in the future. Also, like just yesterday I was recording a track that I think is gonna be really, 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 really good. I wanna do a video for it. And I think that'll be my next release probably on this channel, I hope. Maybe in the meantime, I'll do like another like simple, like short rap type thing, but I have a song coming and I, I'm feeling really, really good about it. And I hope you guys do too. And I hope you guys will support it as well. Cause it feels, it feels really legit. This one, this one, it feels like a lot of people can relate to it and, and find some, maybe some courage or some strength or some like will to go on and positivity like that because that's the type of shit I like to touch on with music is um, like the struggle the struggle of life and kind of just the, the negative thoughts and the negative feelings and things that you know people don't really want to bring to light but I, I feel like a lot of people go through their shit and they just keep it like secret and hidden and down low and if I can release things that help you process those things or, or at least make you feel like you're not alone and, and it's relative and kind of make you look at it in, in a I don't know in a way where there's it's almost relatable, but it uh, it kind of like, because it's so relatable and negative, it, it like breeds positivity. Like it makes you be like, oh, okay, like I'm good. Like he gets it too. Like we're good. We're gonna make this together. Like we're gonna get through this shit together. So that's kind of the vibe that I go for with my shit. So anyways, ranting, but honestly, if you're ever on College Street, College and Grace, between Clinton and Grace on College in Toronto, Rudy, check it out. This was fire. I will be back for certain. The chicken sandwich, I was sleeping on it, but it is not to be slept on. It is so good. The burger is amazing too. All right, well, I'm gonna go home and upload this shit. Eat good, live well, stay true. Peace, guys.